Hey right guys, Drift Munters Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 9 of Friends Season 7. I was meant to film this yesterday, uh, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, and it was, I think, the hottest day in the UK so far, so it was, uh, I was, I was sweating out. I like, I actually loaded up the video to film it, and I, I didn't even do the intro, I was like, there's no way, <laughs> there's no way, bro. Uh, so I did a thumbnail and then left the house, I'm not doing this, so... Uh, but luckily, it's a lot cooler in the room today, so uh, we can film Friends, enjoy it, and then we're jumping into New Girl Season 2 straight after as well, so I'm ready for a couple of sitcoms. Episode 9, guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like if you're new, remember to subscribe, and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to Friends, then link to Patreon page will be in the description, and one of the comments down below where they will be on around Episode 19, so coming towards the end of Season 7 by the time this one is on YouTube. Twitter and Instagram will also be linked down below if you want to follow me on either of those, but for now... Let's do this. I'm ready. Yo, she's you zooming. Sure? Uh huh. Okay, let me. Just is Ross being a father? There. Thanks, Daddy. No, no, one Daddy, two mommies. It's Sprouse. Huh? One of the Sprouses. Riverdale Sprouse one. Cole. But she gave me the box that it came in. It had a picture of the bike on the front. Hey, didn't she live in a box? So that's. So I would sit on it, and my stepdad would drag me around the backyard. That's so depressing. That's so not really. Yes, I got Ross. To drag him around too. Still haven't seen her dad since his appearance. Making holiday candy for the neighbors. I'm sorry. Who? Ah, uh, Christmas they episode. The on the door. On the 19th of June. Ooh. But we don't know the neighbors. I do. There's a uh, what's a guy with a mustache. Yeah, I have a neighbor who smokes weed 24/7. Fact. I have a wonderful job where you can make out with your assistant. <laughs> That's happening then. Directed by David Schwimmer. I stayed up all night coming up with a plan so that us dating will not be a problem. So yeah, what's the plan? <sighs> <laughs> Great, but well, we, yeah. we are not going to let it be a problem. <laughs> wow. It took you all night to come up with that plan? Oh, well, you know, we did other stuff, too. Yeah, yeah, of course. Come on, you know I don't sleep with guys on the first date. Matt Wire, Mark Lynn, Ben Wire. Anymore! <laughs> Jesus. She, Monica was ready with receipts on that one. <laughs> She's like, I, hold on up. Okay, thank you. That'll be all. Yeah, is that a little plan? Wait, wait. Okay, no, maybe it's not a little plan. <laughs> I don't even mean secret. That, that male guy had no idea there was something going on between us. <laughs> Bro. Okay. They're really delaying Ross and Rachel, aren't they? <laughs> I'll remember to put that in your evaluation. My what? Well, you've been here for two months now, and your boss is two required months? to hand in a performance evaluation. Thing that I have yet to evaluate. This just feels like a porno. Uh, it's, it's okay. Uh... Can you help me clean this up? <laughs> Great. Well, waste of time. Oh my God! The neighbors ate all the candy. Joey ate all the candy. Yeah. Uh... Hey, come on. Joey! Phoebes, <laughs> you, uh, you got a second? Sure. Oh, has he got yeah. a bike? Ever since you uh, told me that story about that bike, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I mean, everyone should have a first bike. You That'd know? be so wholesome if he has. <gasps> yes, oh Ross. <laughs> That's so cute, bro. You like it? I love it! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the best present I've ever gotten. Oh, you're welcome. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, that. and Chandler's about to cry. <laughs> Am not. Ah, uh, yes. Very convincing. <laughs> that was such a wholesome scene. Amber. His ha bed hair is pretty wacky. No, 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 no. Can you tell me who is there, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, got him. I live upstairs. Do you know what time it is? It's candy time. <laughs> what? My roommate says that they taste like little drops of heaven. Oh please. <laughs> and he came here at like what three a.m. to do this? <laughs> Four a.m. Four. That's so, even worse. Can I get some candy? Well, okay, I'll swing by later. You live in this building? How is someone this happy at four a.m.? Seems like I would have remembered you. Mm. Night care. <laughs> yeah, first. What the fuck, bro? Who shows up to some random house at 4am and asks for chocolates? 
So did you read your evaluation yet? No, it was marked confidential. These two aren't even secret. What the resources. <laughs> okay, please, you're kidding, right? Uh, is it gonna be I like, thought that one is a joke for uh, you. A joke they would appreciate? Uh, I'm thinking, no. And then... A small pornographic sketch. Okay, but she didn't sign it, so maybe she did sign it. Phoebe. <laughs> wow, that is so sweet of you to get Phoebe that bite. Don't have some I weird reason, like cried. you found it in a trash. Almost cried, huh? Come. Wait a minute, she was walking the bike. Right, here Both we go. Times? Here's the reason. Here we go. We're gonna ruin the wholesome storyline, aren't we? You do know how to ride a bike, don't you? <laughs> of course. <laughs> no. Can we see you ride? Te have Ross teach you. Okay. <laughs> she looks so cute. I love it. Okay, well that's yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I would have just stood there and watched that. Uh, leave her on the floor in the dirt. Bridge? Yeah. That sketch you mentioned? Might it have looked a little something like this? <laughs> oh my god, Joey! Well, it's dead pride This little came in handy before I could afford porn. Afford porn, did you hear that? I had to pay for it, that's wild. Sorry, I know it's after hours, but I really need candy. <laughs> oh my god, go Sorry, buy some at the shop. Easy. Some people have been saying it's, you know, little drops of heaven, but whatever. Yeah, that's <laughs> so... Please, can't you help me out? Yo, Monica, don't do something you're good at for free. What the fuck? Oh, you really want to talk about getting people to like you, huh, funny man? Mm. <laughs> yeah, none of you can really talk on that one. Yes, Ross! You, and you'll be fine, okay? Here we go. Ready? Ross, 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 Set. Ross. Wait. And, and push you, okay? You won't let go. No. You swear? Don't kill a Ross. I'd be so mad if he killed Phoebe off. <laughs> this is surely the worst place you could have done this at. Doing great. Yes, yes, yes. Take control. Yes. Phoebe. Okay. You kind of doing well. You score. I just thought you were doing so well. I shot. Shot. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a legitimate learning technique. It is a, it is a learning technique, to be fair. Oh my god. A, Sell them for money. About... You could afford the dream wedding you want. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, hello, liar. <laughs> I'm really sorry I let go of the bike. I could have been killed, I hope you know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we'll just go along with it, it's fine. The bike got stolen and the police have no suspects. Uh, so... Is that not a bike? <laughs> Phoebe. What? Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> and, and this bike wants to be ridden. And, and... It's so passionate. Like it, you, 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 killing its spirit. <laughs> the bike... Is dying. <laughs> he knows how to get through to you. Know that's gonna work. All right. Yeah. If you care enough to make up that load of crap, okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> great, great. You're making the bike very happy. Mm. Okay, Ross. Please <laughs> <laughs> don't die. Yeah. Okay. I would say if that was gonna work, of course that's gonna work on Phoebe. Pretend the bike has a soul. There you go. Hello, Rachel. You uh, got a minute? Yeah, sure. Is it too it's late? Just for you, anything, minute. Okay, great. Abort the plan. Abort the plan. Uh, actually, I'd like to speak to both. Of you. Yeah, I think he knows. Okay. You fucked it. So I read your evaluation right. of Tag. Ah, uh, there you go. Or uh, to use his full name, Tag Sweet Cheeks Jones. <laughs> Why would you? What's going on with you two? I'm the one who filled in that evaluation. Oh no no. no. Yeah, for yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. I thought it would be funny. I have a weird sense of humor. I mean, yeah, I take the fall, I guess, mate. Hey, it's not like I don't have a sense of humor, huh? Hell, I even enjoy a naughty limerick every now and then. <laughs> this guy gets no sex. But there's a time and a place, uh, huh? You could have lost your job. Are you kidding me? With a cute butt like this, I'd find work. 
Yeah, you'd find work, but she said she she said you'd lose your job. Is the the word she said. So, wow, this many people live near What's them. Going on? Hey, and you cannot smoke in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. How long's it been? Merry Christmas. This woman was trying to do a nice thing for you. She was making yeah, candy but so she could try to get to know day. all of you. And I'll bet that not one of you can tell me her name. Am I right? Candy lady? Mm, Olive, go away. Candy lady? <laughs> hey, we know it. We have candy. <laughs> <laughs> forget it. All of you forget it. You ruined it. You ruined it. You ruined it. You ruined it. Yes, Joey. <laughs> oh, straight on. <laughs> Did you see his face? It's a cult of yours. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> She's so wholesome. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> I love that they just kept that storyline wholesome. I'm glad they didn't have like some, you know, underhand meaning like Ross was actually doing it for this reason to like get back at her. I, I don't know. I'm glad that that was just like a wholesome storyline of Phoebe, uh, Ross helping Phoebe learn to ride a bike. Again, I, I love when Phoebe like talks about like her past kind of thing because like I say it's clearly like a lot of trauma that she's gone through that's kind of thrown around as comedy in the show which is fine but uh yeah I just feel like they don't delve into it enough so when they do it, it's actually kind of nice uh delving into Phoebe's trauma is really nice but you know what I mean it's like little things like that and then little things like her not knowing how to ride a bike and again fair play to Ross helping her when he when he walked in with the bike because like, I got you present I was so cute bro <laughs> Uh, people hate Ross, by the way, as a character. I'm still going to point that out, just constantly, because it absolutely baffles me. I know I mention it like three times per season, so we're probably in due course to say, if you don't like Ross, what the fuck, bro? What? Why? Why? <laughs> Imagine the show Friends without Ross. No, no, he's like, oh my god. Um. Yeah, I love this episode. This episode was great. We've had two bangers in a row. I think this that storyline worked, obviously. Uh, then Chandler and Monica were pretty good, like her trying to make candy, candy, just chocolate for all the neighbours, um, which was fine. I, I think she should be selling that shit. It's clearly like something people want. They want money for the perfect wedding. If Monica used her brain a bit more uh, and Chandler is like her wingman, in a sense, they could make a fortune off that. They could probably sell up their own little cafe or something, or like their own restaurant, anything. I mean, there's money to be had there. She's clearly talented enough. So I don't know. Felt like a waste, but uh, that was good stuff. And then, admittedly, Rachel was actually pretty good this episode. I, I like Rachel. I just her storyline with dating this guy is not my favorite. Uh, but they were pretty good this episode, like sending out the um, what, what actually was it? Evaluation form, I think it was. Sending that out uh, and trying to get that back and him taking the fall for a little bit. So, yeah, overall, every character was pretty... Joey, as well, had the best part of the episode, which was bumping that guy out the way. Candy lady. And then he just rolls on him and knocks him to the ground. <laughs> oh, Joey. Joey was just, like, kind of non-existent for the whole episode. Not non-existent, but, you know, he was there doing his thing. And then that was just like, yeah, you know what? Joey was worthy being in this episode. But my favourite part was Phoebe riding a bike, obviously. So, uh, yeah, very good episode. I'm going to give this one uh, another 8 out of 10. It wasn't, like, the funniest episode, but I think the storylines all worked for me. And I think it's... I'm giving it an 8 mainly because of the Ross and Phoebe storyline. I'm just so... Friends doesn't always do, like, a nice, wholesome storyline, but when it does, it always works for me, and I'm glad we had one uh, for Phoebe and Ross. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. And if you do want the early and uncut reactions to Friends, that link to the Patreon page will be in the description. And one of the comments down below where they will be very close towards the end of Season 7. So maybe I'll see you over there. If not, I'll see you next time for Episode 10. 10? 10? 10? Episode 10 already, Jesus. Uh, so until then, take care. Peace.